I'm happy to announce that this year's 2010 Science Expo includes the largest number of science exit projects on display from the greatest number of participating Urban Advantage schools and a record number of students presenting projects. More than 700 7th and 8th graders recently came to the American Museum of Natural History for the Urban Advantage Science Expo. The event showcased 310 science projects as part of the Urban Advantage Middle School Science Initiative. Science is about experimenting, asking questions, and trying things over and over and over again until you find out how it works or how it doesn't work and what's the best thing for it. So as I was walking around and talking to some of the youngsters, I see that they have all tried over and over again before they were able to get their final piece here. And even then, it's still a work in progress. Launched in 2004, the science program helps students complete their New York City Department of Education required science exit projects. I was thinking, how can I get the most renewable sources of energy in the city? And I thought, well, how about a floating city because the winds can be stronger there and it's less susceptible to disasters as well. It's a model of what a floating city could lo look like in the future because there's so much water and so few lands. The program now supports over 300 teachers in more than 150 middle schools and serves more than 37,000 New York City students. I wanted to um, do a project about DNA because it's actually a really interesting topic because it like makes up every single living thing. And um, well, I did it on the effect of different temperatures of rubbing alcohol on the visibility of isolated DNA from a strawberry. Well, strawberries are basically, you know, everybody loves them, and uh, they're delicious, and they're actually kind of simple to work with because they're very visible, and they have uh, juice inside them, which is good. So, like, for example, if you take a banana, it won't work as efficiently because it doesn't have, like, juice. This is the biggest crowd ever, ever, ever. You are diverse, you are representative of New York City, you are fantastic. Thank you teachers, thank you students, thank you parents, and it is an honor to represent this area and to care about science.